In this video we're going to look at how the drilling operations are set up in Bobchem. Now to do this we're going to go ahead and open up an example file. So we'll come to file open. And the example files are located in the Bobcat Cam data folder. So we'll go to C, Bobcat Cam data, or Bobcam folder, and then we'll come to examples. For this, we're going to use the whole example. We're going to open this file, and we're going to get a drilling operation on this hole here. So the first thing to do is to come over to your cam tree and we need to define a machine setup or an origin for the part zero. To do this we're going to insert reference geometry and then use a coordinate system. Now the coordinate system's default on this part works so I don't need to pick a location or change it around so we'll just go ahead and accept our coordinate system. Now we come to our machine setup and we're going to select this UCS that we've added or this coordinate system. Go ahead and confirm our selection. And now this is where the part zero is set up and the direction of the X and Y axis. Now to add a drilling operation, we'll first right click milling stock and go to drill. And we're going to look at a hole operation. We'll choose next. And now we'll select our geometry. In this case, I'm going to be using the center hole. And we'll confirm our selection. Now when we choose next, we get to see the actual operation. Now the operation you'll notice consists of a center drill, a drill, and a chamfer tool. Now the chamfer tool is an option on the parameters. If we choose not to use a chamfer, you'll see only a center drill and a drill will be used. Now these operations are compound for all of the drilling, the tapping, the drilling, the hole drilling, the reaming. Now you can change what tools occur inside the setup. So let's say on this we didn't want to use both a center drill and a drill. We'll go ahead and choose next, next, we'll just finish this, we'll compute. We could see now we got to have a toolpath generated here and it consists of both a center drill and a drill. Now if we want to remove that center drill to do this, what we need to do is actually change part of the setup. There's a default setup and a part setting. So if we want one operation with multiple tools and one without, we change the part setting. Let's go ahead and look at this. We'll click the plus symbol next to our top level here. We'll come to milling tools, right click. And in this case, we want to change the part, not the default setting. So we'll go to part and then our tool pattern. In the tool pattern, we get all of our operations. In this case, we're looking at hole. We can see that we have with chamfer and with no chamfer. So in this case, when we add a hole with no chamfer, it applies both a center drill and a drill. Let's say that we want to only drill. We'll go ahead and click on center drill. We'll delete the center drill. Now, when we choose no chamfer, we'll only get a drill. When we choose with chamfer, we'll get a center drill, a drill, and a chamfer. Let's go ahead and eliminate both. We'll choose OK. Now, this will not affect the current feature that's already been added. This will only affect future features. So let's delete this feature. We'll right click on it, left click delete. Now we'll come to our milling stock again, right click, go to drill, then hole. We'll choose next. We'll select our geometry again confirm our selection, and choose next. Now we could see our operations currently when we're set to use chamfer, it, the software will only drill then chamfer. Let's eliminate the chamfer. Now our drilling operation is only calling a drill, not a center drill. We'll go ahead and accept our defaults, choose finish. Now we can see underneath drill hole, the only tool active is a drill. So you can change that setup for all of your drilling operations. If you want to always not use a center drill, by default Bobcat will use a center drill. You can come change your default cutting conditions. I'm sorry, tool pattern. And here we have our hole. We can remove the center drill. 
or tap, we'll notice sand drills, drills, chamfers, then taps. And with no chamfer, just sand drills, drills, then taps. So you could break down the operations to individual operations or leave them as compound operations. The default settings contain all of the tools that you can use in a drilling feature. So this list, you can either leave it set this way or remove tools from it. You do get the option to add tools. However, you can't add a, let's say, a counter bore to, to a drilling or a tapping operation. So the items in the feature are, or in the tool pattern that exists as default are the maximum amount of tools that you want to use. You can either remove from that list or add the tools back into that list. You can also change your tools, let's say we come to our milling operations, it uses an end mill rough. We can change our end mill rough to a carbide tool instead and use that. That is, uh, that is okay. So you can change the operations a little bit around that way. Now we can see when we add a, let's say a profile operation, we'll go ahead and select this outside edge. our tools will reflect the changes that we have set up in here. So again, to change the order of operations that occur, you right click milling tools, go to either your part or your default tool pattern. The part will only change new tool paths that you add to the individual drawing that you're working on, where the default will change the system default for the entire system. Now you can also set up tool patterns by saving them out to files after making your changes or loading in a toolpath file that you've set up. So you can set up some defaults, save them out, or change them based on the parts that you're programming or the operations that you're doing. That concludes this video.